Yeah, well, what is good? My anime faithful. Battle in five seconds was definitely the second hypest show this week. Uh, next to the three shows that I watched. But, man. I kind of expected this from the red team to get impatient and do something out of the pocket. Which, unfortunately, if things went a different way this whole situation might have ended out different but because both sides did something that they were not supposed to do it put us right back in a position where this cat girl can really do whatever it is she wanted to do which at this point was to get this supposed stalemate between the two teams handled and to be fair i feel like our main character wanting to talk to the other team that has nothing to do with it is the most genius thing to do. Even if you can't get every single person on board to help you, I don't remember there being any rules against them having that, right? Like having teammates from anywhere, right? Like everything is on limit. And one of those limits being grabbing these random people from the blue team and hoping that they have some strong competitors in there to save them at this point because as I see it there's not a lot of uh, chances that they're going to be able to get to recruit besides the fact of the normal thing they do which is um, they wait for the people like how they showed up right like the people that are just coming in fresh off the boat and don't know nothing about this place those are the people that like anybody can recruit though or unfortunately be taken hostage by the red team so very very curious stuff when it comes down to what's actually going to pop off because like i said the red team is definitely the team in the benefactor seat they have no cares about uh, like every single person here and they're all just here for their entertainment slash whatever they see fit type of deal so i would not be surprised if we see more of the red team's people just absolutely being used and uh forgotten about afterwards right like we use this guy it's like we used that guy last time <laughs> like that's the type of people i expect them to be like to forget just who they've already used and practically believe that they can just continuously do whatever it is that they need to do to win when really they could win different ways they just think that whatever they say goes and that's how everybody is probably living their lives around the red team so Overall, I do want to hear what y'all are thinking about these shows. Do you enjoy them? Is there one that you like more than the others? Because at this point, um, they're all pretty decent, but I have a better... I'm having a lot more enjoyment out of uh, To Your Eternity, but... That's to be expected with how much like effort and ridiculousness goes into that show as a whole. But regardless, I can see myself uh, really enjoying these other shows as well. As long as they can continue to keep things kind of exciting and interesting. Because after a while, um, it's going to be kind of obvious where things go. That's just a natural uh, progression of stuff, especially when characters aren't going to be killed off and they're kind of the lead roles and stuff like that um so i am curious to see what other things the show has up its sleeve because all the characters that are intelligent are showing me that's where the most interesting parts are going to play a part because they're all trying to figure out what each other can do so they can take a better advantage of them so that being said i hope you'll have an awesome one i am your boy the anime g and i'll talk to you in the next one Peace.